In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use N8N to automate your posts across all social networks, even those that don't have native integrations. For this, we'll be using Blotato.com, the only API I found that works seamlessly with N8N. But Blotato is more than just an API. It's an all-in-one content powerhouse. It helps you create viral posts, repurpose content across platforms, and even generate high-quality faceless videos with tools like viral templates, script generation, and automated cross-posting. It's designed to maximize your reach with minimal effort. I will make a separate video. First, head over to blotato.com and create an account. They offer a trial so you can test everything before committing. Once your account is set up, go to the settings and log in with your credentials for all the social media accounts you want to connect. They offer nine integrations, but keep in mind that you can post to even more accounts if you have them connected. This makes it an incredibly powerful tool for automating your content distribution at scale. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel because in a future tutorial, I'll show you a really cool trick to generate traffic to your websites or business on autopilot. Before we start this tutorial, I want to let you know that you'll find the N8N workflow inside my Automation Tribe School community. Inside, you'll get access to a lot of other cool automations, plus inspiration from other automation enthusiasts. For a small payment, you can unlock all the automations you want, and I'll be adding at least one new automation every week to keep things fresh. In the Automation Tribe Classroom, you'll also find the URL for the Airtable base, which will make it even easier to manage your content. Now, let me show you how to create this Airtable base from scratch. First, Create a new base and add your first column, titled Title. This should be a single line text field. Next, add another column called Description, which should be set as a long text field. Then, I recommend adding a Promo URL column, which should be of type URL. This is where you can add your affiliate links or anything else you want to promote. After that, create a Video URL column. This should also be set to URL type. Next, add an Image URL column. This will also be a URL field where you can store images related to your content. Finally, add a created time column. This one is mandatory. This column is crucial because we'll be using it to pull only the latest row whenever the automation runs. With this Airtable base set up, we're now ready to connect everything in N8N. Now, go to the Automation Tribe Classroom and download the workflow. Once you have the file, open N8N. Click on the three small dots in the top right corner and select Import from File to load the workflow. Now, let me explain each module, what it does, and how it works. The first module is When Clicking Test Workflow. This is the trigger that starts the automation. This workflow is simple, but in future videos, I'll show you how to create more advanced automations, including how to schedule daily posts on your social networks. When you authenticate with each social network inside Blotato, you'll notice a Copy Account ID button on the right side. Click it to copy the ID to your clipboard. We'll need this for the next step in our automation. Next, we have the Edit Fields node. Here, we'll set the IDs that we get from Blotato's website. First, change the mode to JSON and copy my JSON code into the workflow. Please note that all the codes will be available in the school community, so you can easily access them there. Now replace all my IDs with your own. As you can see, I have IDs for multiple Facebook pages, which is really cool because it allows you to post to several pages at once. On LinkedIn, you can post not only to your personal profile, but also to your company page, giving you more flexibility in content distribution. One important thing to note is the Pinterest board ID. This can be tricky to find, but I discovered an easy way to extract it. If you have a make.com account, create a new scenario and add a single module. Pinterest list boards. Authenticate with your Pinterest account, then right click on the module and select run this module only. Now you'll see a list of all your board IDs. Simply copy the ID of the board you want to post to and paste it into the corresponding N8N node. With all the IDs set up, we're now ready to configure the final steps of the automation. The next node is 
Airtable search records. Here, I'll set the resource to record and the operation to search. Then, I'll select the Airtable base and the table where my data is stored. One important setting to adjust is return all. Make sure to deselect this option. Instead, set a limit to one so we only fetch the most recent entry. Next, I'll add a sort rule. I'll choose the field created time and set the direction to descending. This ensures that we always get the latest record added to the Airtable base, so only the newest content gets posted to social media. The next node is an HTTP request node. This is used to upload a video to Blotato's servers. First, I'll set the method to POST, and for the URL, Make sure to copy the link from the screen exactly as shown. Next, enable send headers and add a header name, Blotato API key. Then, drag and drop the Blotato API key from the set ID node into the value field. Now enable send body and set the body content type to JSON. Under specify body, select using fields below, set the following. For the name, enter URL. For the value, select the video URL from the Airtable schema on the left. This step ensures that the video file is properly uploaded to Blotato, where it will be processed before being posted to your social media accounts. Next, add another HTTP request module and rename it to Instagram. Set the method to POST, and for the URL, copy the link exactly as shown on the screen. Now enable send headers and use the same values I have. Make sure to also enable send body, and in the JSON field, copy the code you see on the screen. Once this is set up, duplicate this node and rename it to Twitter. In the JSON field, update platform to Twitter, target type to Twitter. All other settings remain the same. Since this process is repetitive, I won't go over every social media platform in detail, as it would take too much time and get a little boring. However, I want to point out a few small differences that are important to note. If you want to post on your LinkedIn page, the settings are the same, but you need to add the page ID. The same applies for Facebook pages. You must include a page ID to post there. Now, for TikTok, there are a few differences. Here's the JSON code. Please pause the video and copy it. For YouTube, the setup is also slightly different. You can find the JSON code displayed on the screen. If you're posting to threads, Check out the JSON format for that platform here. Now, let's cover a few small differences for Pinterest and Blue Sky. It seems that on Pinterest and Blue Sky, you cannot upload videos directly. For Pinterest, here's the JSON code. As you can see, there's an extra row where you need to enter your board ID. For Blue Sky, in my case, this node is deactivated because I don't have a Blue Sky account. But if you do, here's the code you'll need. Now that we've covered all the platform-specific details, let's move on to the next step where we will test the automation. As you can see in my social media table, I've added a simple title and a video URL from a movie I made in a previous tutorial. For Pinterest and Blue Sky, since these platforms don't support video uploads through this method, I've added a simple image instead. Now I'll go to N8N and click on Test Workflow to run the automation. Once it's completed, I'll refresh the pages on each social media platform so you can see that everything was posted successfully. Now, I'll refresh all the pages and please note that it might take a few seconds for the videos to appear. If your video file is larger, the upload process may take a few minutes, so be patient. As you can see on all my social networks, the videos have been successfully posted. This is exactly why I'm so excited about Blotato because it makes automating social media content so much easier. And trust me, I have some amazing automations coming soon that you won't want to miss. One of the best things about this setup is that if you have multiple Facebook accounts, Pinterest boards, or TikTok accounts, you can post the same video across all of them, or even slightly different versions if you generate variations through automation. This strategy massively increases your chances of exposure. Instead of posting to just one account, you're reaching multiple audiences across different platforms, all at the same time. And the best part? It's all fully automated, so once you set it up, you don't have to touch it again. 
If you found this useful, make sure to subscribe because I'll be sharing more powerful automation tricks soon.